Hi everyone. It's time to dance. It's Wednesday at seven and here we are ready to go. I'm so happy. This is going to be our last class of 2021. So how about that? And I'm just checking to see that I am connected. Okay. So I see myself. If you could uh, log in, let me just check over here. Log in and uh, let me know that you're here. Let me know that the, the audio and the visual is good. We will get started in just a minute. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, let me turn on my lights. That's what's missing. I'm looking, going, something's wrong with this picture. I got my big fancy lights, I might as well use them, right? <laughs> okay, so say hello, let me see who's, who's checking in, who's gonna dance with me, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we'll um, end the year on a nice little fun class. We're gonna work on side-to-side -side movements tonight with uh, small, small combinations. So again, looking at small spaces where you can just go a few counts to the side and then a few counts to the side and, and go back and forth and do things in that kind of a pattern. So that's what we're gonna look at tonight. So let's start and we'll get moving in just a moment. I'm gonna get the music going and <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I have a friend logging on. Thank you, sweetheart. So I will um, get my music going and let's just warm up a little bit here. Maybe, I think it's gonna start. There it is, okay. We're working with Middle Earth, my Frank Lazar from Middle Earth, one of my favorite bands ever. And he's kind enough to give us permission to use the music, so that's what we're using. And let's see, oh, I've got a couple people here. Okay, good. All right, here we go, let's move our bodies. Just left and right. 
Just check, make sure. Okay, good. Barbara found us. Yay. Good. There we go. Okay, the crew is here. So let's start with the easiest one, which is a chasse. And it, that's a French term. It's in all kinds of dance forms, but it just means chase. And your back foot chases your front foot. So I'm going to get back here and show you. Oh, don't want to knock that over. So you would step front, together, front, together, front, together, front, together, as if your back foot is always chasing your front foot, but it never quite gets there, right? So that's what a chasse is. We just call it step, together, step, very simple. Step, together, step, together, step, together. You can do it on one foot. You can do it on both foots. So try your other side, and then we'll take it to the side. Step together, step together, step together, step together, step together. Okay, so let's try it left to right. Same idea. So I'm going to get way over here because my Instagram screen is much narrower than my Facebook screen. So this is my right. So it'll be opposite or the same for you guys. So to the side. Step together, step together, step together, step by step together. <laughs> Other side, step together, step together, step together, step together, step together. All right, now the only thing is you want to make it graceful. Lift your heels a little bit, float on the balls of your feet. So let's try one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. You can see I'm just a little bit lighter on the ball of my feet. And you may hear, depending on the audio, you hear that? The slipping of my feet, okay? Keep your feet on the ground. It makes it more floaty and more graceful instead of step together, step together, picking up your feet. Just slip them across the floor. Slide, 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 and slide. Two, 
So all you're going to do, chasse, pivot, and go back the other way. So this is what it will look like. Chasse, pivot, chasse, pivot, chasse, pivot, chasse, pivot. And it's a nice little floor pattern. It kind of feels, it kind of feels like a figure eight to me. Like not, not a figure eight with your body, but you're walking in a figure eight. Because you chasse, and then you do this turn, which is the circle part, and then you go back the other way with the opposite foot, and you turn. So just a little visual that might help. You're going to do a one, a one foot, one, um, let's see, here. Yeah, you're going to do a full pivot because you want to come back facing front. You could also do a half. Let's say you had people around you or you're dancing around your house and you don't have a front. You could chasse, pivot. Just, or you could then you can cross, actually you can cross over and then pivot and then chasse, pivot. So there's all kinds of things you could do, but we're going to just face front, okay? We're going to come around one whole turn and come back to front. So let's pick a side and we'll go back and forth. So you will be going step together, step. Now the foot that's behind you, take a step here, turn yourself around. Come back to front, and that foot that you just stepped on is ready to step again for the next chasse. Step together, step, step, and turn. Step together, step, and turn, and turn, and chasse, and turn. Good. All right. If you have questions, let me know. I'm just checking to see if anybody has questions. Okay. But we're okay. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's put our music on and give it a try. So it's a nice peppy song. One, two, three, four. That's our tempo. So it'll be chasse, turn, chasse, turn. Right? So then the turn is a pivot, right? Pivot meaning pick up both feet, you only pick up one, one feet, right? And one foot stays on the ground. All right, let's try. Five, six, ready, next. Chasse, pivot, chasse, pivot. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. Two more, I'm in this here, you know? not difficult, but we can add hips to it because you saw there was nothing happening. I mean, it's okay. You could have a costume on and just use that as a floor pattern and you could do, you know, you could do your, your turns and you could do your arms and, you know, all can, you can make it that way, dance with the upper body, but we're going to stick in a couple of little hips, all right? So there's all kinds of things you can do. So. Let's just take the chasse and add a, um, a single glute squeeze. So instead of going step together, step, we're gonna, well, we're gonna step, but as you take a step, squeeze that glute at the same time. So instead of a plain step, it's gonna be a step with the um, accent of the hip. So it'll be one and two. And then I'll just skip the turn for right now. So we get the chasse, three and four. Hip and hip, hip and hip. Hip and hip, hip and hip, yeah? And that just makes it more, um, more hippy, right? A little more exciting to look at. All right, so let's try it with the music and see how that feels. So it's gonna be your chasse with the hip accent and then your pivot turn. Here we go.
think of that one because I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, I like it too. Good. Good. I'm glad you guys like it. It's not hard. That's it's good. It looks good. Um, it's really pretty. We're not doing props because the space is so small. However, it's beautiful with the veil. Really pretty because you can have the veil behind you and then twirl it and then behind you twirl. You can imagine, right? And then you could do an airplane turn, float around. So if you have a veil at home, you could try that pattern with the veil. It's quite lovely. And you can also just try arms, turning, arms, turning, right? All kinds of different arms that you could do. But we're focusing on the hips. But when you get a basic pattern like that, it's really nice. You know how, if you've had class with me before, how I like to teach. I take a, a root movement and then I show you all kinds of things that you can do with it and add to it. So you're not necessarily learning six different steps. You're learning one step with six modifications. And I just think it's easier on the brain to have the root movement and then you're just adding your variations to it. So that's what we're doing here. All right, so our chasse. Now we're going to do um, one more addition to the chasse. So instead of doing the chasse step forward and pivot, you can chasse step back and not pivot, right? So cross back. So it'd be chasse one and two, cross back and then push off again. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. One and two, rock back. One and two, rock back. Does that make sense? Hopefully. All right, so let's try it with a little bit of more tempo and then we'll put the music on. So your chasse with your ball of your foot, step side together, side cross back, step forward, side to side, side together, side. It's more of a rock, rock back and forward. Side together, side, rock back. Side together, side, rock back. Side together, side, rock back. And side together, side, rock back. All right, so if you have the first one, all you're doing is instead of stepping forward and doing a pivot, you're stepping behind, right? Notice I'm on the diagonal when you step back, right? I wonder if you could do a turn. Two, three, four. Yes, you could. You could totally do a back turn. That would be fun, but we're not going to. <laughs> Probably because I'd fall over. So let's try it with the back rocking, the back rock, back and front. And let's go ahead, if you want, Add your hips to it. We already know that with the chasse, you can add the glute squeeze and do a single hip. One and two, right? One and two. So we can go one and two, rock back. One and two, rock back. One and two, rock back. One and two, three, four. You can also add a shimmy to your rock back step. You can add a three quarter shimmy. So if you're intermediate or advanced, or if you just know your three quarter shimmy, Go ahead and put it on there. So start your shimmy going, three quarter. That's a whole different class, but it's basically a triple shimmy. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. Done with the leg and the hip muscle to create a triple movement. So for one beat of music, it's one, two, three. So it counts one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. So on the rock back, you'd be doing one, two, three, one, two, three. So on your back foot, three quarter, front foot, three quarter. Back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. All right? So this may or may not feel comfortable depending on your level. It will, we'll get there. We'll cover all this stuff eventually. But these are just options because you don't have to do it. You can just stand, you can just do it plain. It's fine. Let's try the other side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. Pull your belly in. There you go. All right, so we've got a lot to add. We have our hips. One and two, three, four. No, yeah, this is cool, right? So we have a single hip, squeeze, 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 three quarter, three quarter, squeeze, 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 three quarter, three quarter, squeeze, 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 three quarter, three quarter, one and 
two, three, and a four, and a. Yeah? All right. Let's try. I'm looking for questions. Okay. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. I'm just, all right. Let's try. Just, whoop, I just turned my sound on. Hang on. Let me just figure out how to mute myself. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I did something on my screen and all of a sudden I would, you'd hear me and me again on my, on my laptop. All right, so ready to go? Glute squeeze, one and two, three and a four and a bump, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one and two, do, 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 da, 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 sure you get on a diagonal it makes it easier to come back to the front if you rock back and you rock forward okay all right ready for music okay we're doing it I'm gonna to start this one over on either end. I thought, oh yeah, this is cool. So you can take it to a, from a beginning level to an intermediate level to an advanced level. So the beginning would be without any hips. The intermediate would be with the squeezing of the single hip and then the advanced would be the three-quarter shimmy on a diagonal rocking back. It sounds more complicated than it is. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Okay, <clears throat> so does that make sense? <clears throat> You've got your basic floor pattern, foot pattern, and you're just layering stuff on top. So we did a variation. The first one was with a pivot turn, and this one was with a rocking back. And then we added hips on top of that. Okay, so now let's look at another uh, version, another, another step, all right? <coughs> this is just, um, in class we just call it a scoot. You're going to have one foot on the ball, one foot flat, bend your knees, and you're just going to push your hip up. As you push your hip up, you slide your feet together. And that scoots you across the floor. Up, 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 up. So it's like a hip lift to the side continual, right? So it's not really a foot pattern, it's more of a hip thing. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a nice little um, pattern to do. And what I do with this one, it's a classic. I mean, it's, it's a really good way, like watching a circle. You can get around. You can do a big circle, a little circle. You can do it in place. It's just a nice little um, accent to squeeze that glute on the downbeat and bring it up. So instead of just walking, you can be doing a hip accent, but we're just going to take it to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now to switch sides, you step on the last one. So you'll be on the ball, scoot, lift, two, three. Now push your foot down flat and also push. So you keep the accent for four, but it's flat. So it's ball, 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 flat. One, two, three, and step on it. One, two, three, step. One, two, 
three, step. One, two, three, and step. One, two, three, and step. So you want to keep that, <clears throat> that fourth accent in there so you don't lose it, all right? Okay, so let's try it with music and then we'll change it up just a little bit. Here we go. like fun and easy. All right, so, <clears throat> so what I do is create a pattern. Four on each side, two on each side, one on each side. So it condenses and it looks kind of fun. So you start in the center <clears throat> and you go one, two, three, four, other side, two, three, four. Now two, one, two, one, Two, now one, 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 one. So it's just, it's a pattern, it's a combination. And it's just like a ladder. Four, two, one. You're just cutting it in half. On the one, we can do a variation there as well. So let's, let's put the music on for that because that's pretty simple. Let's just try that. Ready? because it makes a nice finish, right? So four, four, two, two, three quarter. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight. One, two, three, four, quarter shimmy. I think the three quarter shimmy is awesome. It's a really nice finish because you're going side, side, side. Now, if you have a bigger space, you can do eight, four, two. We just started with four. And a lot of times what I do, instead of two of each, I'll do um, four of each. So I'll do four, 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 two, 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 one, 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 one. Right? So just depends on the music in your mood and what you feel like doing. So dance around your house. Make sure you dance around your house a lot. Super fun, especially this time of year. It's very fun to dance around your own house and try some different combinations with that and try it with the three quarter shimmy at the finish and then maybe something else at the finish. All right, so that's our little lift and scoot right to either side. Um, it's a very fun move that we like. You can also, I'm going to show you one more variation. I'm going to show it coming towards you, break my rule here, because when you're scooting to the side, the foot is straight out, okay? But you can also take your foot front and back. So it makes a zigzag pattern, front, back, front, back. So I want to come toward you, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. So if you do this step, we're not going to actually drill it because we're doing side to side. It's wasted. Look, I mean, yeah, it's okay, but you, you've got to see what's going on, right? So if you're going to change directions and go toward your camera or toward your audience, try the zigzag, front back, front back, front back. And of course, couldn't we have fun mixing that up? One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. 
one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Wouldn't that be cool? I just don't have the space. So it could be side, front, side, front. You can mix it and match it any way that you want. So I just wanted to throw that one out there for a little zigzag scoot. All right, so now another pattern with feet and hips. Let me think, what was it? One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh yeah, all right. Single, single, double. So your hips will hit one, one, and two. So the, the end of it is actually a three quarter shimmy, but we count it as um, three and four. So you would be doing one, two, three, and four. You're gonna stay on that same foot. This changes feet, right? So as opposed to one, two, three, and four. Well, actually, erase that. We are we are gonna move with it, so never mind. I never said that. <laughs> you are going to step with it. So one, two, three, and four. So you're gonna step with your hip. Do it, do a um, two singles, a single, a single, and then a boom, boom, boom. So it's very closely related to the first one we did, isn't it? Yeah, very, very close. Single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. All right, and that gets you across. The single, single you do in place. One, two, and then the three and four, boom, 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 you scoot. Could you add, <clears throat> could you take out the one, three, and four, and make it a three and four? You bet, you sure could. So it could be single, single, scoot, and scoot. Single, single, scoot, and scoot. What about single, single, scoot, and scoot? To the side, right? All right, there we go. All right, my video paused. Okay, I think, oh, there we go, okay. My video paused on Facebook, but I think I'm back. Yeah, we are. I think the signal got weak for a moment there. All right, but I think we're back. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so what if we did single, single, front and back, or single, single, side and side, right? All these fun things we can do, taking from what we just learned a few minutes ago. So let's go back to the basis of the step, one, 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 and two. Or if you want to count each hip, one, 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 two, three. Right? So back and forth. Let's try it. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Slide to the side. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Slide to the side. Bump, bump, slide to the side. Bump, tap. Slide to the side, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. I'm just showing you some arm options. We're not really um, adding those right now, but I'm just showing you, right, to see, because you don't need to be like this the whole time. You can move your arms all kinds of ways. So with this one, since it's a four count, we're gonna make it an eight count by adding four counts of something else on the end of it, all right? And we're gonna start with a hip square. A hip square is exactly how it sounds. You're making a square box shape with your hips. So I'll do it a little on the diagonal. Still tuck your low pelvis first, that's one. Tuck, um, squeeze one glute, that's two. Contract your low back, so if you go back, that's three. And squeeze your other glute, four. So it looks like a square. One, two, three, four. It should be percussive. Right? It should be um, sharp and crisp. So let's try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Switch directions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three, four. All right, so we would do the single, single, slide, chasse, double, whatever we're calling it, the one, two, one, two, three, and then hip square. 
the tempo of the hip square can change. Ultimately, it looks cool if it's double the time of the first part. So we're going to start at the same tempo first. So one, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. When you go to, I went the wrong way with my hips. If you're going this way, so this is my right, you're going to do your hip square to the left because you want to have your other foot free to start again, right? If you finish here and then you have to start one, two, it's kind of double and it's sort of confusing. But if you finish two, three, four away, then you can go single, single, double, five, six, seven, eight. So we can talk, instead of left, right, we can talk inside, outside, right? That might be, that might be more fun. Um, I'm just making sure we've got everybody. Yes, okay, cool. <sighs> Let's see. Checking over here. <laughs> okay, got it, I've got it. So, does that make sense? When you go to the inside, one, two, three, and four, now go uh, to the inside again. Five, six, seven, eight. Inside meaning the center of your space. You're starting on two sides coming to the middle. So, you're gonna go from one side to the next. One, two, three, and four, right? Now go toward the inside with your hips, start front. Five, six, seven, eight. So yes, this requires a little bit of planning, a little bit of thought, right? If you go the wrong way and you're on the wrong hip, so what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's just easier. So if you end up here, just go again. One, two, it's okay. And then the next time go the other way. You just have to own it with your body, right? So let's try one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, bum, 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 and one, two, da, 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 da. yes, okay, so that's the same tempo. Now, what I'd like to try is make the hip square double time, right, the same, the double the time, the double the tempo of the first part. So you will be doing Two hip squares in the same time signature. Instead of being on the one, it'll be one and two and three and four and, right? So you're gonna double the speed. Just try, just try. All right, one, two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three and four, bum, 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 one, two, three and four, Five and six and seven and eight and. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> I think it's fun. I love it. It's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. So, I think, did you get it? Did you like it? Hopefully. All right, let's add another piece. We're going to kind of use this pattern. Pelvic drops. They're not easy either. Pelvic drops are exactly how they sound. Pick up your pelvis from the, and the pelvis is from the navel to the pubic bone. It's the lower abs, all right? It's the low, the low part. From the navel up is diaphragm, rib cage. From the navel down is what we consider our pelvis, all right? So tuck your pelvis only. Don't tuck the whole thing. Just tuck your pelvis, just the low part. Pelvic drop, meaning just pull, let it go. One, two, three, four. One, two. to keep the rest of your body somewhat smooth. It's a super good sit-up, by the way. It's really good conditioning for the internal low abs. All right, so we're not stopping there. Because pelvic drops just don't look that exciting. Well, they could. Da, 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 da. I guess they could. I'm just not a huge fan. I'm a fan of just one or bum, 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 or something, but the na, 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 that doesn't excite me as much. So I prefer to turn them. So you're going to turn your hip. So stand straight, bend your knees, turn your hip to the side, turn it to the other side, and feel what this feels like. What are you using to turn? Your waist and your obliques, a little bit of your legs. What you can't do, 
is turn your feet. Right? I don't, don't even think about doing this. Don't pick your feet up and move them. All right? Keep your feet square. Rotate your hip to one side. Rotate it to the other side. One, two, three, four. Let your knees move as they will. When you bend your knees, they will move without hurting them. If you straighten them, it's not going to feel good. So bend your knees. So instead of dropping center, two, three, four, we drop diagonal. One, two, three, four. All right, so try center. One, two, three, diagonal. One, two, three, four, center. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, you will feel it in your back. Your low back is working as you drop that pelvis and you turn, look at what's happening. My back is contracting, right, to make that happen. It's a very cool, and also you can see you get a little, as what comes down has to go up on the other side, right? So if your pelvis goes down, your back of your hip goes up, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In the middle is the contraction, turning, and let go. Contract, turn, let go. Contract, turn, let go. All right, so it'll be one, two, wait. <laughs> one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, start your hip to the inside because you're gonna be, you're gonna go back the other way. You want to have this hip free. So you want to be inside, outside, inside, outside, so that your hip can be free. To move. So single, single, chasse, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, drop, 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 single, single, double, inside, outside, inside, outside. Uh huh, yeah, maybe. This one's a little challenging, right? A little challenging. So if anything hurts, it's uncomfortable, just think maybe drop it in the center for now. Because if your back isn't ready, it's going to be sore tomorrow. I want you to be happy tomorrow, not sore. So I want you to feel like, oh, I got a workout, but not I hurt something. So if your back is not used to this, sometimes this, um, it talks to you, right? That's not that you can't work into it. You totally can. not But just maybe do it small less of a turn, or maybe just do it in the center. All right, so that's that one. Let's try it a couple times, just to get it in our bodies. Single, single, double, one, two, four, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, do you remember the first one? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> the hip square. All right, let's do that. Make sure I don't have questions. Okay. All right. The hip square. Same foot pattern. Single, single, double, square, single time or double time, whichever you prefer. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, five and six and seven and eight and or one two three and four slow it down six seven eight one two three and four five six seven eight all right okay so we've got those two we got one more Amis. since our abs are all warmed up and ready to go let's do some squishy gushy Amis. an ami is a smooth version of the hip square. So tuck high. We're going to just start with the hip square. Tuck high in the pelvis. Pick a side. Two. Low back. Three. Other hip. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now tuck slowly. Tuck slow and around. Slow tuck and around. Slow and around. Every time you come to the front of an Ami, your pelvic muscles should contract 
and your pelvis should tilt up in the front and down in the back. That's the cool part of the Ami. It's a, it's a circle, so like if you drop a nickel on the ground, you know how it rock, rocks and rolls, it, it, it circles, right? It goes in a circle, but it's, it's um, lifting on each side. That's what the Ami is. So it's a circle, but you have to lift, all right? So up and around, up and around. And the hard part is not to go oh, and squeeze with your butt. Because then, then that takes the circle away, right? So try to use just the pelvis. So do a square. One, two, three, four. Now smooth. Smooth, smooth. Back to the square. One, two, three, four. Smooth. Two, three. Change directions. Square. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Square. One, two, three, four. Up and around, two, three, four. So we're going to add this on the end of our foot pattern. The same thing will be, um, the same, the plan is the same. You're going to be circling toward the inside of your calf, right? So if you're traveling from left to right, you're going to circle to the left. If you're traveling from right toward your left, you're going to circle to your right, all right? So it'll be single, single, double, around and around. One, two, three, and four. Circle, circle, single, single, double, circle, circle. One, two, three, and four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? Woo! We have a lot of pelvis um, contractions tonight. We're going to have nice flat stomachs <clears throat> and very strong stomachs. This is all um, strengthening, very, very strengthening, strengthening for your abs. All right, let's put on music. We have hip squares, armies, and... <clears throat> pelvic drops, and we'll do them in the order that we learn them, so it'll be easier. Hip square first, pelvic drops, omnis, and I'll cue you when we're going to do it. We'll probably do maybe four times of each one, all right? So get your squares ready, then we do the dropping of the pelvis on the angle or in the center, that's fine, and then the last one is the omni. The main common denominator will remain the same. All right, ready? <clears throat> Here we go. to the end. 
if you're in a situation where you have more movement, just change where you're going. You don't need to always stay in the same space. Go that way and then go that way and then go that way. And just put something different on either end of it. Mix it up and you have a, a small routine, right? At least a part, a part of one. So you can easily piece these things together to start creating some material for yourself. And just when you're dancing around and having fun. So those are all really good. They're very um, pelvic driven <laughs> because I like the contrast of hip and then pelvis. I think that looks really cool of a, a nice sharp hip and then a smooth or a squishy pelvis or even a square, right? I think it just all meshes very nicely together. So hopefully you enjoyed that. That's my, is that my list? That's my list. Okay, I made it. <laughs> All right, so thank you for joining me for the side-to-side -side combinations and drills. I had a great time. This is our final class for 2021. Can you believe we've been doing this? How long we've been doing this? It feels like five years. At least two, right? We're, we, we did all of 21 and a lot of 2020. So um, yeah, we're, we're on it. <laughs> and we will keep going. So no problem. Next week, we're taking a break, and then our day back will be January 5th. Wednesday, January 5th will be our first class that we do for the new year. All right, so any questions that you have, let me know. Um, if you have, um, if you want to contribute to the class, $10 on Venmo is much appreciated. And um, check my YouTube channel. There's all kinds of these videos posted there. For, for your enjoyment on YouTube. And uh, subscribe and like, do all those things, comment, yeah, you know how that goes. And then after this, just take a big break <laughs> and relax and don't do anything. All right, have a great night, everyone. I'm going to sign off in just a moment. I'll get this light, there we go. And let me see if I have any more. Okay, we've got it, yep. See you on the fifth. All right, good night, everyone, thank you.